for me, I only have one reaction. When people were like, hey, you need to do some SEO. I was like, ooh. Awesome. ooh. Do it again. SEO. Ooh. Hello and welcome to another Shopify app review video. So this week we're looking at SEO Booster. I have a love-hate relationship with SEO and all the stores that I used to own before this, uh, it was always a push and pull with SEO managers and it was a tough one, I, I gotta admit. So, but SEO Booster has a 4.8 out of 5 rating, which is pretty impressive. And they just say that they will help you daily with um, making sure that your SEO is on point and increase your traffic. So that's a pretty interesting promise, but most importantly, it's free. Wow. So that's like an extra interesting promise. Although, hold up, don't forget, free apps don't always really mean free because if you uninstall it, the code stays in your team, which I guess is fine if you just do it once, but if you do it 20 times a month, and I know one of my clients is watching this and I'm talking about you and you know it, if you do it 20 times a month, it's gonna slow down your team because the code doesn't get deleted every time you delete the app. And so if it slows down your team, you get a really slow store at the end of the day and that affects your bottom line. Anyway, enough talking about that. Let's look at SEO Booster. All right, the app is installed and integrated with our demo shop and we are on the dashboard. So the dashboard looks nice and we were greeted with this uh, welcome back message. I don't remember using this app before, but hey, all right, welcome back indeed. Here on the dashboard, we have a list of things this app can improve and also we have the FAQ section. On the left, there is a menu navigation with the list of items. Within that, there is the home test test, optimize, audit your store, and docs. In the bottom right corner, there is a live chat in case you need help from an agent. Okay, here on the homepage, we can see that our demo shop has a lot of problems. <laughs> what else is new? So let's click on fix it here and we are on the optimize page. JSON LD is not enabled on our store. And in case you are wondering, okay, Andrew, uh, what the hell is JSON LD? It's basically a lightweight linked data format. It's easy for humans to read and write it and Google looks for JSON LD and rewards websites and web shops that serve JSON LD data. Now we know what it is, so uh, let's click on it to fix it. And as soon as we clicked on it, boom, it got optimized. All right, I like this. Now click on the title, and our title is okay, but if we want to change it, just click on the plus button and a new form will appear with additional settings. We will skip that since our title is okay and we go to the description tag. The description tag is an HTML attribute that provides a brief summary summary of a web page. We don't have it and this app can automatically generate one. You can also do it manually or you can let the app do it for you. We will click on fix it and again the app did the job lightning fast. Kaboom! Next in line is the sitemap. All right, uh, a sitemap is a file where you provide information about the pages, videos and other files on your site and the relationship between them. The sitemap needs to be submitted, so click on submit and we have the same process as we had previously. Next is Google Analytics. Here we should have connected Google Analytics and the Google Webmaster tool. Now we don't have either of these two since my Google accounts are being used on ecomexperts.io, so we're just going to skip this one, I'm sorry. Let's go to the last step, which is broken links. A broken link or a dead link is a link on a web page that no longer works. I'm not sure if we have any of those on this web page, but usually there are quite a few that you're not even aware of at this, as the site owner. But let's see. So let's click on scan and oh, look at that. We don't have any broken links, which I mean, I guess it's no surprise because it's us. We left the test page as the last piece. So let's click on test in the left menu navigation and we are on the new page. And on the test page, we can test the JSON LD for store, blog, article, and collection. All right, let's test our overall shop uh, for the JSON LD in 
integrity. Click on the blue button that says test and a new window appeared outside of Shopify. Ooh. We are on a, the Google structured data testing tool. Let's validate it by clicking on this play button right here. And this tool didn't find any issues. So let's go back to the app and test other items. All our items are validated and we don't seem to have any problems. All right. So that's pretty much it for the app. Uh, for the free app, it's really good. Uh, ideally, it would be paired with a great SEO strategy that uh, your marketing guys would set up but I'm sure it can save you a lot of time regardless and I can definitely imagine it saving hours of manual work I mean just site mapping will take you a few hours at least if you do it manually but seriously if you do it manually like there's a whole bunch of tools out there to site map so just don't do it manually some of the app functions don't seem to be uh, working off the bat, or maybe that's just me, a uh, user error. So if the owners of this app are seeing it, definitely comment on it and let us know what we did wrong. All right, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you an insight on the SEO app that's out there. There's going to be a whole bunch more of SEO apps that we are going to do. So stay tuned for that as well. Make sure to like and subscribe on our channel because most likely you will discover apps that you're like, oh my God, this is actually free and this can give me revenue. Why have I not installed this? Why did I not subscribe on Andrew's channel earlier? Dude. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and that is it for me tonight. Ciao.